Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back, everyone. No, you started again. That's a okay. Bit cut it okay. Welcome back, everyone. Here's another perspective puzzler. This one's called the chest of drawers. This is what the drawers are going to look like from the front. With small chest of drawers with two drawers based on the cube, based on that Bauhaus cube. And from the side, let's see there's drawers. We can see there's stuff on the inside. I'm going to draw them. I think I'm going to make the bottom drawer come out. I'm going to make this one go in so we can see inside there. See inside there. So let's, let's start with... Um, this is more complicated than what, what we've done so far. But let's start with a good basic cube. Always use a good basic cube. Let's go below eye level. The drawer, a chest of drawers is on the floor, right? So we'll put it below eye level. And this time, let's make it a little bit wider. So let's make it a little wider on this side. We can do that and shorter on this side. A good basic cube. And all of the basic shapes can be drawn in perspective. But here we're just using the cube. Okay, so we're going to put this onto there. And let's, I'm just kind of freehand draw it there. Let's, I'm going to, my strategy for this would be I'm going to draw the inner square or the inner shape. And then I'm going to split it down the middle. See those? The relationship A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Always, always going back to there. Always going back to there. Take a, we could take a string. We could take a string this way for the one, two, threes. Okay, let's. Now let's clarify a little bit. Take that out and let's. I'm going to make this bottom drawer come out a little bit. So let's. It's coming from here out. This little orthogonals come out. Out. And I can make it go out as far as I want to. I can bring it out here. As open or as closed as I want. And let's. The top goes back here. And this, as it, see, as it swings to the right, we see a smaller and smaller sliver as, we, as it swings to the right. But we want these orthogonals to be accurate to there. Not to here, not to there, not to there, not to there. We want to be right, accurate to right there. Where this orthogonal crosses that orthogonal, we put the vertical. Vertical. This is vertical. That's vertical. We could fold the paper over and check for that. See, that's objective. That's why we call it objective drawing or object drawing. Drawing objects in an objective manner. I can teach you how to draw things. I don't know if it's art or not, but I can teach you how to draw things. That's something we, This is a learned activity. You can. Learn to draw objects. People, plants, animals, objects. Now let's clear, clear this out. And what we've done here, we've drawn, drawn the cube, we've, drawn, we've described the surface of the cube, now we've attached something out of the cube or connected and, it, and brought something out. In previous clips we've taken away and subtractive, but here we've added to it. But this one, a drawer, there's stuff inside there, isn't there? So we, how does that work? So let's, this plane is described here with this, and then we'd have to use our mind's eye on the inside. How far back it goes, how much you see, and if you see this back corner right here, 
you, if it comes out far enough, you would see that back corner. And how short the drawer is or not, there's no limitations for that. That's up to you. But in this case, we do not see the back corner of the drawer. So we'll just leave that, that line like that. We could put some objects in there, you know, some uh, socks or underwear or, you know, how about some firearms and guns and knives in there? Who knows? Whatever you want to put in there. So there's a little decorative, the, the drawer pulls, put those on there. How does that work? There we go. All right, so there's the chest of drawers with one drawer open. Come back for the chubby table. What could we do next? How about the chubby table? Here's a perspective puzzler. Let's see. We transform the cube so that all sides look like this. A very chubby table with the little legs down here. And the bottom of the cube would look like this. So all four sides would look like that, and the bottom, if you're looking straight up at it, would look like that. It's called the chubby table. So come back for that one. That's our most complicated one. You don't want to miss that one.